Sometimes watching a movie just won't do. You also want to eat that movie. And that's why there's movie recipes. Today we're going to show you how to make Braveheart Freedom Fries. That is, a batch of Freedom Fries that tastes exactly like the movie Braveheart. Before you begin, take off your pants and underwear and put on a kilt. If you don't have a kilt, just take off your pants and underwear. Hand cut your potatoes with a sword. If you don't have a sword handy, you can improvise, but your Freedom Fries will taste less violent. Line your pan with aluminum foil and then cover it with green sugar topping to simulate a grassy battlefield. Place one half of the chips on one side of the pan and one half of the chips on the other side of the pan, leaving a large field of aluminum foil and green in between both sets of chips. Make sure you designate one side as English chips and one side as Scottish chips. Place 11 tater tots in the center like so. Apply blue dye on the top tot. Now get a bottle of Johnny Walker Red and pour it all over the Scottish side. Don't worry that Johnny Walker didn't exist until the 1800s. Historical accuracy is not a concern. Now pour an entire bottle of evil, or vinegar, on the English side. Be sure to let that marinate for about three hours. Cook the chips and tots in an oven at 20 degrees for 15 minutes. Now stir the chips and tots around and apply liberal amounts of ketchup everywhere you can, except for the tots, of course. Once the stirring is done, throw all your chips with ketchup onto the cold, hard ground, where they'll stay. Remain outside. Use a toothpick to dig out all the insides of the tots, applying liberal amounts of ketchup. Now cut the blue tot from the rest of the other tots with an axe, screaming freedom to add flavor. Take all the remains and put them in the four corners of your yard to make a point for other potatoes in the area. Eat nothing. Mmm. Oscar-worthy.